All righty, guys. <laughs> Time to wrap it up. It's Friday, November 22nd. It is 3.30. And I think we have a market which is just absolutely not going nowhere. It's just staying in that range. A couple of fake outs right now in the afternoon. Yes, this is what gets you caught if you're not paying attention. It gets me caught more than often. When you see that you're seeing nothing, 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 there's a big move, and then, okay, what, what was going on? And then you react and you click in an order or something like that. And so, so that, this is like this fake out stuff is just dangerous. So, I mean, I said the range bound trading, uh, we're looking to fade the edges back to the mean. We were looking at <laughs> the last update, we were trading up here, and I said, uh, look for a potential short setup. If they break out, you can have a super tight stop. And uh, if they do break out with some volume, you trade it from the long side. So those are the options we had here. And there was no rush to get short on this one either. So um, you had plenty of time. And if you take it, took a short here, having your stop maybe a point, point and a half outside that rotation should be sufficient. If they run it above that, I mean, just get out of it. You know, no, no, no reason to spend more money on, on a trade like that. In, in case they start running it higher. Uh, they just kind of slowly started drifting lower. And if you had patience to sit through that trade, that uh, you, you would be in a good spot. Get a few ticks out of it, 90 down to maybe the 85. So maybe five point trade in here. Uh, if you could bear through this slop, but it's at this point, it's really clear that they were not going to break out and uh, it's basically staying in this range. They haven't taken the time to take it lower. In M period, I was looking at this with bated breath, see if they're going to start knocking this down. That was at the three o'clock hour. Big nice little run down here, but it just flat out stalled right there at support. So the 5970 is working uh, as support, mean green line. And attempt a couple of attempts to take it take it lower three times, four times. One, two, three, four times that time to take it lower failed. Looks to me like they're snapping back a little bit now, but I'm avoiding trading late in the session on a Friday like this, unless I have to, and I, I don't really have to. I mean, if you're down some money, you really want to try to make a difference. Fine, try to make a pop on a trade, but it's just very, very range bound. So it's uh, you try to get on a trade like in, in this in this dynamic, yeah, it's going to be probably get stuck twisting in a win. So um, I'm just going to start off this range bound. If you look at the capital flow and the ES in the bigger picture here, you see that we are still holding. We have extended today's session to the upside. So I would say that we have, this is a move out of the middle to the upside. It's still very much a move out of the middle. So. They extended, I've been holding this. I've quite been able to like run higher, but they have extended the range. So we are in stage uh, one still, move out of the middle to the upside. And the target is going to be up here at the 6,000. So I'm thinking that we have a shot at getting up there. They are right here at that resist reverse resistance area. So we're not quite in a, in that area where they're breaking, broken through. So we'll start this from the long side going into the overnight <laughs> into the next week. Uh, looking to buy weakness, it's going to be an edge right down here now. It's going to be at 65. It's going to be a one edge, uh, definitely at the 40s. So it's may, I, may, I may have something in between here around the 55s. So probably like 65s, 55s down to that 40s for rotations back up again. And below 40s, we're back off the rent, taking off the long bias at that point. So it's still a move out of the middle to the upside. And, uh, and let's see how far they can take it. But that's how we get started. We're going into next week. Now, next week is uh, Thanksgiving week. So it's going to be a short week. We're going to have some, uh, we're going to have some uh, uh, most likely lighter volume. Uh, Thursday is going to be a day off. Uh, I think it's usually two half days, like in the morning up to like midday or something on Thursday and Friday next week. But it's going to be a short week. And uh, we may have a shot at getting some action Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But then I think, by mid Wednesday, I think things are going to taper off pretty quick, and but probably going to people be people taking people are going to be taking uh, the whole week off as well. So just be mindful about that. Uh, so no trades on the ES for me today. I did a couple of gold trades this morning, but I haven't wanted to trade this slop. I mean, fading the edges has been the way to go, but you know, I just <laughs> this kind of stuff. I mean, I just don't have the patience for it. So I mean, if I get in on a trade like that, I'll be that'll be freaking. It's super tempted to to, to uh, start messing with it, and it's just no. So I just, I just sat on the sidelines, looking for a better opportunity, and an attempt where you see a little bit of dynamic, a little bit of volume, and in a, a potential direction arise. Trading from the inside out like this, from the mean out, is not something you want to do because you have to make that directional call, 
And you can tell it's it's like hard to say which direction it has no no direction to it, just going sideways. The only thing you can do is to try to fade the edges back to the mean. And as you said, you had a, the the best shot they had on an edge was back up here at the ninety two ninety threes back at the London close, but that was it. And since then, it's been just twisting in the wind. So that's uh, the ES. I would say start range bound with a bias to the upside going into the uh, overnight on Sunday Monday. Uh, mm -hmm. Below the 5940s, we take off that long bias if this trade down below it. And uh, other than that, we are still in that stage one move out of the middle. By the way, I'm updating the uh, some of the uh, methodology documents and stuff on the website. So if you want to refresh yourself, I mean, the, right now I have some new descriptions on the F1, F2, F3 charts on the website, new screenshots. And I'm going to update the white paper for the 321 methodology so you get then a little bit more updated in your screenshots on it. So and try to put my flavor on it, get a little bit uh, more clarity as to what we're doing. So anyway, that's good refreshing material. As always, it, sometimes you need to go back to the to the, the core part of it and figure out, okay, what, what are the base rules, base, base shapes I'm looking for, and then, then reapply yourself on it. Okay, so looking at the bonds and the NASDAQ, not much to say about the bond market. They are sitting in a range. So range bond bond market, look to sell 1628s up to 17s. Look to buy support 1608s up to 116s. That's it. So range bond bond market going into the weekend, going into Sunday, Monday. Not much else to say about it. Yields are kind of holding. Everything seems to be in a holding pattern on the bond side. So that's a good sign. That's a sign that things are stabilizing a bit. On the Nasdaq, I was hoping that Nasdaq would make a, a go for the uh, go for it and maybe extend. But Nasdaq, as you can tell, has not extended. So they uh, the ES in there is still in the technically in the move out of the middle to the upside. Nasdaq started off kind of faded a little bit and has not extended. So I would just fade the, the move this back together and then look for the uh, the edge here at the eight hundred to eight eighties as a pretty good resistance area. So that's the way I would look at it. I would not just look at the pre a, a probe to the upside. So we'll see how they are going to play this come next week. But I will start off range bound. If anything, a slight bias to the upside. It's going to be one edge down here at the 720 up to the 750s. That support is going to be adjusted. So it'll be there and it's going to be at this 700. So if they trade below the 700s, we are definitely back in that lower range. So looking to buy against weakness with the sun caution. If we are range bound primarily. I would say we have bias is still to the upside since they haven't really quite backed off a whole lot today. But I'm waiting for NASDAQ. NVIDIA thought that NVIDIA is going to have the shot at potentially staging a little bit of a rally, but I think NVIDIA has been pretty uh, lackluster today, so I guess nothing is happening on that one. I think Bitcoin stocks are the ones really moving. MicroStrategy is doing some good stuff there. All right, so that's uh, NASDAQ and uh, so nothing, no trades on either of those today. <clears throat> the only trades I took was early on on gold and up nine bucks on two contracts. And that was per the analysis this morning. We said, uh, look for a potential retracement trade. Well, we, so we said trade it from the long side of the market. But if they take out that 80, 85, 86, look for a potential retracement trade since they had this big move in the overnight. And we, we had a shot. We got from the 95 down to the 85. So 10 point move almost to the downside to trade before they actually reversed it. I tried to get in twice on that. And... Uh, and this is the, the most difficult part, getting in and staying in, right? So I had, was late to my first entry, got in on that one, uh, <clears throat> had a pretty good trade going, they reversed it, and it stopped me out. I tried another vol a trade against the mean for rotations back down, and that was after they took it higher, little bounce bar, starts taking it higher, then failing. So a little outside bar there, hopped on the short side, and I had enough going on it, and then they, got, they shook me out on that thing, and then they kind of ran this lower, so... It, it was just too volatile, too sloppy, so I didn't re-engage it any further, and that was it. So two trades, I tried to, to get short on that one, did not quite work out. So so up nine bucks on those two contracts. The gold trade that was still from the long side of the market, they are still trying to extend. So at this point, by weakness, uh, 2700s, 95s, down to the 85s for rotations back up. And oil, holding. Yes, holding above this uh, resistance areas, and uh, they are definitely uh, on their way higher. <clears throat> so dynamic on, on oil has been pretty, <clears throat> pretty all over the place. But as you can see on the capital flow, it's pretty clear they have taken out this area. They are extending. 
pretty good and they're heading out to watch his upper edge at the 72s. So I would trade from the long side right now and see where they're going to go. So in the look, I'm going to be looking for test of that low volume area at 72.30. So, so trade that oil from the long side, look to buy weakness, going to be an edge here at the 70.50s, going to be one here at the 70s and the one here at the 69.70s. Rotations back up. So that's oil and gold. Back to the ES. So it's a long day, long day, sloppy day, not much happening. It's full of fake outs and potential traps. And the only thing you can do a day like this is, you know, if you got caught on a couple of trades, don't keep doing, don't keep overdoing it, over trading it. This, this, as you can see here on the trading day, if I try to do this, how, how sloppy it's been. It's been like a, a range back and forth. And you can see that the edge is not super well defined either. In Well, they're defined, but not, they're within like what, 89 to 95, almost a 10 point range like this. So difficult to trade. And when it's like that, you're not quite getting to the spot where you want to engage the market and you're not quite getting uh, the setups, which would prompt you to take a trade. So those days, as I did today, I was kind of stay on the sidelines, looking for a better, looking for a good setup. And if it, once it occurs and you see a, a good setup and a trigger, then you take it. If you don't, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't. It's gonna stay out of the stay out of the market. So, trading in this in the middle here is just a uh, a fool's errand. It's gonna it's gonna get you chopped up and have you lose money. So, don't do that. Alrighty, guys, we'll wrap it there. So, good Friday. See you back on Monday. You guys have a good weekend. Later.